My name is Greg Anderson. I'm a fireboat pilot with the Seattle Fire Department. Basically, the pilot's job is the uh, the safety of the vessel and the crew as we're responding to emergencies. Go clear, Greg. Pretty much anything that happens within a block of the water, uh, we'll go to. Seattle's not only a port city, but it's a water city. There are about 200 miles of shoreline, and we're we're the resource that uh, that protects that. The, the kind of calls we run on are uh, vessels in distress, ship fires, fires along the water, up to Duwamish, we've had several large fires, and uh, rescues along the waterfront. So we uh, have regularly scheduled drills where we'll, we'll operate the cannons, we'll take uh, lines underneath piers with uh, small pumps, as well as a number of uh, man overboard and, and underway drills. It was a particularly windy day, and there were, there were lots of challenges around Seattle that day. Seattle Traffic, Fireboat Chief Seattle. We heard on the Marine VHF that there was a problem up north. Boats adrift, uh, in distress up uh, by the Edmonds Kingston Ferry Lane. Okay, Roger, we'll stay right on the, uh, the east side of the lanes heading up there, and then we'll, we'll, uh, we'll cross at, uh, at Foxtrot. And, uh, and make our way over. One of our training challenges is that we don't get to, we don't get to pick the traffic that we want people to learn how to navigate around. And this is where our partnership with Seattle Maritime Academy comes into play. Yeah, station calling. Go ahead. This is Ocean Mover. Yeah, Ocean Mover. This is Fire Belesha. We're responding to a fire. The project that the Seattle Fire Department and the Seattle Maritime Academy are doing is is pretty unique. Fireboat Lesha and Bainbridge Fire. Lesha, go ahead. We're able to provide experience for some of these pilots in a matter of days that they may not get over a career. Yeah, Lesha, we've uh, arrived on scene here. We're setting up uh, for this ferry fire. Looks like the fire is on the uh, outer eastern Our ETA is approximately 30 minutes. The simulation is a fireboat pilot and a deckhand slash watch stander. They have to go through the checking in with the Seattle traffic and navigating across the traffic lanes or navigating through Elliott Bay to get to the, the fire area. Elliott Bay, according to the Coast Guard, is the most congested waterway in the state. So the challenges of just getting out into Elliott Bay are, are sometimes significant. And they get to practice this in different kinds of conditions that they might not get to otherwise. Afternoon, Cap. This is the fireboat Chief Seattle. We're uh, responding up here. We had a report of a vessel adrift, and I was uh, wondering if you saw him uh, and could give us a little better direction. The information we get for the location of the emergency is sometimes vague. Sometimes it's latitude and longitude. Sometimes I just saw him off the ferry. We think we see him or something. He has to the north of us. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll head up that direction. Thanks much for the help, Fireboat Chief Seattle. We, uh, we occasionally run into situations that we would like to share with all the pilots and see what kind of decision-making uh, processes they go through and we will incorporate those into the simulations. Yeah, let's try this is Coast Guard 6525. Uh, we've also got a report of uh, a person in the water. Have you heard that over? Fireboat Leshi, uh, we have a visual on that person in the water. If you need any assistance, let us know. There he is right there. Bearing 286. Oh yeah, you can see him. Yeah, he's waving his arms. We're developing new scenarios all the time. And this enables Seattle Fire Department to come in here several times over the next two years and as I mentioned progressively get uh, more and more challenging scenarios and it makes our ability to provide these services more efficiently and certainly more safely and and the challenges are are pretty close to real world that boom yeah the booms come off the mast yeah, that got just a little windier than he'd planned for. One of the best ways I've heard to describe the utility of the fireboats is that while you may not need them very often, when you do need them, there's nothing that'll replace them.
Watch CityStream Thursday nights at 7 on the Seattle Channel. Or get video on demand and podcasts anytime at seattlechannel.org.